Oh my. <laughs> What is happening, Ben? The Peaches song, like on mini LPs? Listen! I, I'm pulling more, Ben. If Nintendo ch switches out to the next console. I don't know how you got this. And they're in the box with the SMB. Five SNES classics and 15 NES classics. Oh, but I already see DuckTales too. It's raining. There's no swap meet to go to, but that doesn't necessarily mean I can't hunt. So what I decided to do was come to a storage unit that was hidden in plain sight, right in front of my eyes this whole time. You see my friend Ben, sometimes he's looking to let go of stuff and he's had a storage unit this whole time and I wasn't even prepared to buy anything from him until today. So now that Ben's just about to pull up, it's time to put to the test, can I find just as good items in my friend's storage unit that I didn't even really know he had that I normally do at the swap meet. He's about to pull up right now. I actually see him right there. Two things I was wrong, that wasn't him, and second of all, I'm parked in the wrong spot. I gotta go drive around the corner. Sir, tell me about this storage unit we're going to. Okay. What, what is this, what is this? So this is my overflow of basically having too much stuff in my collection. I thought I was gonna do reselling. And then uh, I thought I was gonna get into like console repair and uh, you know do like refurbishing, but I just never got around to it. So I just have accumulated all a bunch of stuff, man. Sounds. I'm sure everyone in the comments <laughs> knows what it's like. Yeah. Did Ben die? All right. Here we go. Basis, once again, doing something amazing. What do I do? I edit a lot. I'm editing all the time. What do I need? I need good, fast, reliable charging. This revolutionary desktop charger combines a 240 watt AC power adapter cord and a PD3.1 140 watt USB-C charger in one. The name you ask? The Basis Digital Fast GAN Charger. This is the world's first digital GAN charger with DC, three USB-C and USB-A ports. The five port 240 watt output functionality enables simultaneous charging for multiple devices, accommodating diverse charging needs seamlessly and can charge three laptops and two phones simultaneously. Okay, that's impressive. 240 watt DC plus PD 3.1 USB-C high-speed charging. The single DC port supports a maximum of 240 watt high-speed charging, allowing gaming users to enjoy maximum maximum speed while playing games. And this is the world's first desktop charger with smart display and in-app control. Take control of your power. There's an edge-to-edge -to -edge touch display, which is beautiful, it looks pretty, it's nice, and it's functional. Now, like I said, it has smart app customization. You can unleash the full potential of your charging block with the basis smart app. Take control and tailor your charging experience to fit seamlessly into your lifestyle. I like that this is a 40% smaller size, because yes, you save 40% space on your desk, which is which is super important. And yeah, you can charge a wide range of laptops like MacBook series, Lenovo, Legion series, and other DC and USB-C laptops. Check out my link below in the description if you guys are looking for something like this. I'm telling you, this is the good stuff. We've worked with Basis before in the past and the reason we're working with Basis again, they're awesome, they know what's up. Check the link down below. Mm. Here we go. This is, what is most of this? So this is all video games, like probably 95 to 97 percent, and wow. then some of my personal belongings. How many games do you think are in here? I'll so probably not too many games. I don't know. There's probably a few hundred games like sprinkled throughout. That's games. But honestly, I I haven't been in here in a while, so I kind of forgot <laughs> forgot what I have. So you're you're going to be both amazed okay. slash. Disappointed that I have weird stuff and excited and Story of my it, life, it should be a lot of fun actually. All right, the first box is always the, the funnest because it could be absolutely garbage and starting off the video dumb or it could be a good one. Let's see what we got in here. There's a, not as exciting on this. I'll start with that. Ooh, uh-oh. That's Benjamin, a, you illegal, that's, that's illegal something man. I shouldn't have. You should not, I won't even say what this is, but I'm gonna say that um, that I do know, I don't know how you got this. I bought that off eBay, by the way. You, you I did not get that firsthand. Uh-huh. <laughs> I uh -huh. swear to God. <laughs> Wii U gamepad right here with a controller, 
There's an NES console right here, or as Ben says, a council. Yeah, right. Nintendo strategy guide. Yeah. We, yep. we love these. We love these. Heck yeah. That was one I had as a kid. That's why I kept it. That's a childhood one. Well, not the actual one. I'm not going to try to buy that off of you. I'm not going to buy childhood things. Up. Is this a, a King of Fighters? <laughs> is this vintage? Here we go, bro. I think it is. I bought that from Japan. It was a triple pack. Wow. I bought it over the summer, I think. King of Fighters 98. I, I paid slug. up. I paid up for them. And Samurai Spirits. Yeah. And they all are SNK branded. Wow. I'd, I'd be willing to let those go, actually. As much as a Neo Geo fan I am. Uh, you're not as much of a clothing fan. As well, you they don't fit that well on my they big noggin, so. We'll have to put these off to the... <laughs> you wanted more power. Arcade-like four-dimensional graphics and 15-channel stereo sound. Ooh, I just opened another box. Benjamin, which one is this? So this is Tears of the Kingdom. I am not a giant Zelda fan, but I really got caught up in the whole Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. It was like a movement. Like, all the gamers got together, and, like, everybody was playing it for, like, a week or a month. And so I definitely wanted the collector's edition. Wow, I'll let you stay with that one. I know you're more yeah. of like a collector piece guy than I am. Yeah, so kind of. That's good, man. Look at this right here, what is this? All right, so first analog thing we come across. Uh, you're a huge analog guy, I think yeah. it's important to point that out. I yeah. do like analog. I have one of every uh, analog product ever made. Wow, so, and more. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, this is a white dock, so they did a limited edition on the white docks, and so I wanted to buy a couple just for collection. Sick, and then what's this down here? Is this a All duo? Right, so, got the duo. Oh, uh, I bought the black US one and then the white uh, Japanese one. So this is, I opened the black one, it's at home, and then this is the, the Japanese one. Wow. All right, I guess I'm just kind of paving my way back here. This looks like, okay, here we go. This looks like maybe something. Ooh, some PS2 Slims in here. Wow, so this is accessory, accessory center. This is the kind of, of thing that scares me. This kind of stuff is the scary stuff. Yeah, I haven't really gone through this one yet. I think this is like recent swap pickups from like- Got last, it, just last, recent. Last so month, you haven't maybe. even like tested these on through. Have not, have not. <laughs> How much for a PS2 Slim? <laughs> ben literally brought a portable station and even a TV. So if we want to check things out, but did that PS2 Slim turn on? Dude, we had red light, and then when I hit power, we got green light, bro. Woohoo! Oh, baby. Next box, pure controller goodness. So Ben actually collects like the Chrome Xbox 360 controllers, so I'm not going to touch those. But I am interested in some of these 8-bit do's, 8-bit does. Uh, I really like these. Some people don't have that big a love for them. I do, personally. Um, I'll probably snag a few of these from this box, but we have made zero headway. <laughs> this one's a fun one for me. I just opened this box because I, I think one of the greatest things we've gotten in years was the minis and their their stylings of boxes, you know. And uh, Ben, I didn't. Ben, are you okay? Oh, there's more. Ben. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so I lied. I found I found more of these right here. But then I also found one other thing. Uh, ben, how much do you uh, play this sealed Google Stadia? Oh, dude, it was so awesome. I played my favorite games in my head with that thing. It was <laughs> yeah, great. Yeah, your head is right, bro. <laughs> I got a full refund on that because Google Stadia, it went under. And uh, so they just gave everybody their money back for like the subscription and the controller. Wow, I didn't yeah, know that. So I got it for free. That's when you know you sucked. <laughs> yeah. So this next box, I, I thought there's no way it's what it says in the box. It is what I wrote on the outside of the this box. This is what it says? Yes. You're lying. No. And are they in there? They're all brand spanking new. Five SNES classics and 15 NES classics. Yes. Do you want to open them up? Yes, I do. Oh my, 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 my. All right, let's see. Definitely, definitely should have brought a knife today. I don't know why I did not bring a knife. Let's see if it's what Ben says it is. Yeah, you have them all individually wrapped. Yeah, because I, I was see... trying to be good about the outer. Are you trying to sell any of these or you do you want to hold on to these? Uh, I'll sell some of the NES. NES? Yeah, Cause supers. Because you, you only have 15 of them. <laughs> How many do you want to sell? Uh, I don't know. Let's say four. Okay. <laughs> ben, you you are. So I will say, in the group, Ben is one of the biggest collectors in the group. Ricky and I both collect and resell. All of us still resell a little bit, but I'd say Ben is the most tried and true collector of all of us. Well, like, hold on. Let's be honest. I, I did buy these 
to eventually flip. <laughs> One day. Well, but man, I was trying to make you look like a good peer collector here, all right? <laughs> okay, so I bought the uh, original NES Classic during the hype, and I got scalped hardcore, man. Oh, you did? Because I didn't really know about eBay to buy stuff at cheaper prices, so I bought it off of Amazon for like $230. Oh, my. When they did the first batch before they made them a second time. And so, um, Towards the end of the life uh, cycle of those things, I was like, I'm gonna buy a bunch of these and I'm gonna recoup my money. <laughs> well, you're gonna start with me. <laughs> so these are the Sega Genesis uh, Switch controllers. Yeah. Correct, because they did add Genesis online as well. So. That's right. Unopened. I know, I wanna, I wanna open them so bad to check them out, but I mean, I'll probably keep one. You buy one. them, you could do whatever you I want. I know, I'm probably gonna keep one though and sell one, so I'm gonna just hold on oh, okay. for now and just see. So yeah, Ben has a lot more than I was thinking, than I expected. And a lot more cool stuff than I expected. A lot of times when people have stuff like this, you think like, oh, they might have like some random jank here and there, but I see a bunch of retro stuff coming, but even all the cool stuff these already showed us with like the newer stuff for like Nintendo, it's awesome. All right, let's see what's up top. How, ba how far back does this go, Ben? Uh, it goes back six feet. Six feet? Yeah. Wow. 10 feet wide. 10 feet wide? Benjamin Button. Oh, baby, baby. What do we got here? Sega Saturn Clear Blue, Xbox 360 controller in the box. These hold some value, my friend. They do. There's more NES Classic stuff, Ben. You are, now you are sick. I was trying to be nice to you, but you're-, you're I knew it, it was collects, coming. Who collects- Dude, those are gonna be the unsung collectibles. Okay. I was, <laughs> okay. I wanted to get one of each. Uh, okay, I, I'm gonna let you say that and just I'll keep smiling. Maybe, the, ooh, Hyper can stuff. Can those more? are original, by the way, the- uh, These? The power things, yeah. Oh, you wow. Can, you, you can uh, buy them if you want. Well, sure, why not? <laughs> I'm already here and I'm holding them. I don't want to put them back. So this is cool. I just opened this up and look, it's a Bowser from the, it's a new from the Super, Super Mario Bros. Illumination movie, the Peaches song, like on mini LPs. Yeah, uh, I Am 8-Bit did uh, that exclusive. Wow. So I got a few of them. That's awesome, dude. These are really cool. You want them all? Uh, you could buy two, because there's two more right there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, so Nintendo, for the 35th anniversary, I believe of the NES, they did t-shirts. Oh boy. And I bought a few extra. What? And they're in the box with the SMB. Yo, Those what's are up? Sick. <laughs> are they all the same one? Yeah, so I got different, I think two of each size. Oh so my. So there's like two smalls, two large, and two mediums. <laughs> I know, I know, dude. Overbuying, I don't need it, but it's fun to collect and <laughs> all these years we've been calling Ricky sick. <clears throat> There's a lot, of, this is a lot of Switch games, dude. Is this whole is. thing? Yo, little dude too, you have a lot of. So Switch, sealed Switch is one of my guilty pleasures. Okay, so it'll do Ben, two. as I'm going through your stuff, I'm realizing you have a hundred <laughs> guilty pleasures. Oh my, <laughs> what is happening, Ben? Okay, there's some tropical freezes. All Look right, at this. Hold on, there's, there's stories to this. Okay, so it'll do too. There was some kind of dispute between the developer and the distributor or Nintendo or something like okay. that. So they, that one, they did pull from the e-store. Oh wow, okay. And I was like, boom, I'm in. I'm gonna buy a buttload of copies of that. You're sick. And then I did, and they did go up in value, but um, I, I think they still make it. I'm not sure. Wow. And then uh, I do like to collect Switch uh, seals. And I was wondering if you had any copies of Luigi's <laughs> Mansion, Dark Moon. Okay, so hold on. <laughs> ben, you can't. <laughs> Listen. I, I'm pulling more, Ben. If Nintendo ch switches out to the next console and at Target, you can get these for $15 each, new sealed. Yes, you do it. You do it. <laughs> Going home. <laughs> See ya. These are super cool. The Jay and Silent Bob limited. Oh man, this is beautiful. And then you have some other, they're kind of hard to see in the light, but you have the, the Star Wars Empire Strikes Back ones as well. So you you sealed all this up yourself. Yeah, because I, I knew it was going to sit for a while, so I, I put some cellophane around it. I, it was kind of before I learned about the box protectors. Ooh, and then Turok 2 also as well. The Turok 2 Seeds of Evil Switch, big box boy. Stranger Things, that's a great game too on a Switch. Man, dude, you have, so, I mean. Yeah. 
Each box, I feel like, I, if, that I go through is a great box. There's like a little bit of junk and then a little bit of treasure. There's mostly treasure. It's, it's fun. It's, it's a lot of treasure. Yeah. All right, I just pulled out uh, another box and there's a lot of manuals in here. There probably is some good manuals in here that I can go through. You can come on in closer, Ben, if you want. Yeah, there's already some yeah, really so good ones. Yeah, so NES is the only manuals I collect. So if you want to okay, sweet. grab those. I mean, you have ARMS, All-Stars, So I, these Bros. are actually the games I play. <laughs> They're games you play. Hey, Ben, he's a gamer. No, Ben yeah, is a gamer. I'm really a gamer. Such a good game. Yeah. Cruisin' Blast is so good on the Switch. Raiden is a good game. Splatoon's yeah, yeah, yeah. a fun game. I haven't played that one, but I bought it just because of the logo. Look at that. What the heck is it's that? It's like, what is that? I don't know. Darius is good. Streets of Rage yeah. 4 is good. Ben, there's some some juicy stuff in here. Any, uh, ooh, what's this? Oh, wait a sec. This is, there's some heat. Oh, boy. I already see DuckTales too. <laughs> Benjamin Button, what? Beetlejuice, <laughs> Donkey Kong, Jr. Swamp Thing. Get down here closer. Get down here closer. Swamp Thing, Chippendales 2, Widget. Dude, did you know I passed up on this for five bucks for like two months? It was, really? It was at the Swamp Me every day for like months. Was for that five bucks? A long time ago? Oh, yeah. Okay. Early, early day of our show. Um, I'm going to put it right here so it doesn't hit the ground. Dude, what in the world? <laughs> These were all just hanging out down here, bro. I got this too. Yeah, I, I kind of forgot that these were here because all my other NES are. I got are... this for five bucks on video too. Oh, really? From a nice. retailer booth. Wow, dude. Godzilla 2, RC Pro Am 2. This is a sleeper. This one is pricey and not a lot of people know about the price on this one. Oh, yeah. It's, it's like a $100 game. And it's a great game. Yeah. I mean, aside from that, I it's a fantastic I've played that game. one. Oh, it's totally worth playing. I watched Godzilla minus one last night, Godzilla 2. Which, by the way, I love that movie. I haven't seen it yet. You gotta see it. I okay. Took, I took my kids and they they loved it. I'm like becoming an even more Godzilla fan recently. Oh god. Ooh, North and South. Benjamin, are these all keepers, right? Yes. Never have I opened a box and been more confused. <laughs> what is this like? Bootleg Nintendo. Oh, so these are these are the actual controllers. What? Why They're... do you why do you skin them all? <laughs> Like like exotic it's, snakes it's my in the hobby. wilderness. It's my hobby. Some people snake skin snakes. You skin Nintendo. This, so these are official. Yes. So what is the purpose? I'm gonna retro bright all the the cases. My goodness. Benjamin. So I had bought so many like bundles on eBay that uh, to get the consoles. They all came with one, two, or more controllers. And so there's like oh, 50 or 60. In the words of James Rolfe, what were you thinking? Dude, you know how much those go for? In Which, reconditioned? How much? Uh, I don't know, like 15, 20 bucks each. And you put the new uh, silicon pieces in there? You're sick. There we go. A couple Dreamcast controllers for me. All right, the next item, and I brought it out here. <sighs> Big box of Vita. Benjamin. Metallic red. These are all like brand new condition Metallic from red. Japan. These are all Japanese. Silver, lime green and white. I got oh, into the wow. Vita, man. Oh, that is a beautiful colorway. Neon orange, pink, pink and black, and aqua blue. Yeah. Dude, okay, I won't. That, that I won't even harsh you on. You know what? Yep. These are. Yeah, the, these are for the collection. Yeah, these are absolutely gorgeous, dude, and in great condition. So good for you. I mean, that's, you're doing it right with those PS Vitas. You're keeping them clean, keeping yep. them protectors. Box protectors. That's a good man right there. That's a good collector. So just for, for perspective, this is the boxes that we went through. And again, we didn't show you guys every single thing because this would literally be a seven video spree. But I do have myself a giant box working of stuff I'm picking up. So I'm back here, kind of made our way through a decent amount, but look, I can kind of see it. Wow, I need, oh my, <laughs> Ben. Yes, I know, ben, I know. Ben, Ben, Ben. And you don't own a store. I was gonna refurb him. <laughs> I was gonna refurb him, I good, swear. A good case of the supposed to. Yep. <laughs> All right, this next box, I already kind of pulled to the side. There was some in here, so I didn't want to be in their way, but I pulled this box aside. By the way, if you guys notice my new camera, look at this, that's Ben not holding the camera. Literally will follow you, insane camera. DJI Pocket 3. This box looked good, Ben. Okay. So I want to pop this baby All right. down. And hop Let's in, see. Right? I don't remember. Ooh. Okay. Ben. Hey, have, oh, have a good too. one. Thank you. Look at this, Ben. This okay. is, is this sealed? No. Oh, it is. That's sealed. Yeah. Wow. That this is. is a nice seal, too. Oh, this is so cool. 
This is so cool. I saw these uh, a little those while are ago. I am 8-bit, I think. Yeah. They may still even have them on their website because they didn't sell out like super fast. Wow, Ben, I love all this stuff in this box. I, you know what's funny? I love the Switch look. Like I'm, I, I, the Switch is one of those consoles where I feel like everything they're kind of doing is something I'm down with, from the games to the packaging, to yeah, the for sure. run to the premium edition. I would like, I don't know, maybe a different color other than red. You know, I, like you're not a big fan. I mean, it looks cool to some degree. Yeah. But I mean, just look at the side of NES boxes or Super Nintendo, N64. There's like so many different colors. Variations. You know. I think uh, a lot of times you can you can swip them out though. Swip them out. It's not even a word. Swap <laughs> them out. There you go. And change colors, but yeah, that's man, true. Man, Ben, is there anything in here? Uh, so. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, was that real? That's some thunder. That is some serious thunder. Whoa. Wow. Okay. That was hefty. Is this real? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> you really think that would be just in a box in the I was about my to call Retro did? Rick and be like, sorry, dude, I got you, bro. I'm hideous. Wow, okay, so these are some bootlegs right here. Yeah, yeah, those are Panic just. Restaurant. Okay. Yeah, some collection Alibaba's. gap fillers. Oh, um, do you have Metroid by any chance? <laughs> and those are real. Yeah, oh yeah, those are all real. How many of those do you have? Is that it? Uh, no. <laughs> Stop, Ben. Let me see. Ben. Oh my gosh, you are. I love it. I love you, Ben. I'm so Dude, glad you gotta playing. have the classics, man. I know, I know. I actually didn't realize those were Tengen Tetrises. Yes. What's funny is so when I first kind of came on the scene in collecting, there was like a certain amount of games that were kind of like the popular games to collect. Tengen Tetris, when I first came on, like almost 11, 12 years ago, this was one of the hot games to ever, that was always talked about. Okay, so, all right. Super cool. I just love the, the the colors seem more bright and just the cartridge. And you're a huge Tetris guy. Yeah, so right. I bought three of every Tengen of course you did. game. Of course you did. So it's getting kind of crazy. As I'm doing this, I'm there's like what, 40 boxes, something that we've kind of gone through, something like that, something but like that. what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go through one more box right now, one more, and I'm gonna save all this and do a part two because this could be another three hours for us. They don't realize how long we've been here, you know, as you can see, but we've been filming for a while. Ben really has to go pee pee. <laughs> and let me go through one more box and then I wanna show you guys though what I got because I didn't show you guys everything. I'll kind of lay it out for you guys to see in a minute. Alrighty. Let's see what we got. Ooh, a Super Nintendo Classic off the road. So, rip. and you see how this one is in a unique box? Yes, what is up with that? All right, so after like all the retail stores stop selling them, okay. you could go to the Nintendo uh, website and they were selling refurbished ones. So I guess they were getting oh. in, um, you know, people were claiming that they were broken or maybe they were broken and then uh, they were refurbishing them. And that's and, how they came? And this is how they came. They so this came? is kind of like, from Nintendo this way. It's almost like Amazon Return Nintendo. Wow, I am very surprised they did that. Now, what yeah. is this a, oh, Super, or Famicom. Famicom. Uh, so yeah, so the Famicom had its own Golden Edition Mini. Is this official by Nintendo? Absolutely. With the Dragon Ball on the front? I sound like an idiot saying Famicom. A Famicom like this? That's wow, how you didn't know about that one? I'm just surprised they did all the Dragon Ball branding on it. What's yeah, I'm, that? I'm not sure why. Is it a Dragon Ball? Dragon Ball. Both of you and I cannot talk right now. It's been a long morning. I don't know. Are those all Dragon Ball games? Well, I mean, there is a decent amount of Dragon Ball stuff right here. I'm okay. just surprised by seeing that. Oh, this is nice right here. I love Dude, this that. was like $50 on Amazon. What? Yeah. So I was like, uh, I'll take two. Ooh, the big cowabunga. Yeah, collection. yeah. This is so pretty, dude. Yeah, that one's a keeper for sure. Dang it. TMNT. What about this sealed Game Gear game down here? Whatever it is. Oh, the Jungle Bike. You know what? You cannot shockingly find these pretty easily. Isn't that weird? I think this is like a $20, $25 yeah, game. It's shockingly not as expensive as you think. Yeah. Hexen, is this sealed? That's a sealed. Ooh, you got more sealed games right here. Hold yeah. up. Hold up. Wait a minute. I got some Xbox. What do we have? Let's see. You can go through them with some of my hands. Oh, right. baby. King, uh, nope. Yeah, King of Fighter. Yep. Maximum Impact. Oh, the collection. It's HD collection. This one uh, is not really too valuable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Samurai Showdown, let's go. Yeah, yeah. You want to sell any of those? I know you're not next. Uh, but I'm a sealed guy. You are a sealed yeah. guy. Yeah. I'll sell you a portal. I'll, portal too. I'll that song. <laughs> Sweet. Portal's great. <laughs> All right, Ben. Show me the goods of an analog. All right. So this is an analog NT. Yes, sir. All right. So this is actually the original logo that they did. So this is an older product. This is before they did the FPGA stuff. Yes, correct. Okay. So um, let me get it out here. I remember seeing that at E3. There we yeah. go. 
this guy was not very cheap. Oh yeah. How much so, do these run right now? Uh, I want to say maybe a thousand to like fifteen hundred. My goodness gracious. Yeah, I think I paid like seven fifty for this. Okay. Wow. But so the uniqueness about this guy is that so I mentioned it's not FPGA. So what they did is they found a bunch of Famicoms uh, and took the PPU and the CPU out of them, and so these older Famicoms, they were not even really working anyway, but the chips were good. Wow. And so they use legitimate Famicom chips. Wow. And on dear. top of that, so this is like a limited edition black one. That looks so pretty. And look at that, first edition. Wow, Ben, nice, dude. So like, I really wanted to have at least one first edition uh, analog NT in my collection. Wow. So I paid it for that. Here's a decent look at everything I got. These are Genesis controllers for the Switch. This is, we think, Nintendo controllers for the Switch. The records, Switch games right here, all this stuff, just kind of a recap. There's, there's more, but again, we have to come back. You'd be shocked, I mean, you saw how much time. Oh, by the way, I have more stuff in there, but this is what we made it through, and this is what is yet to come. What'd you say? You wanna know what's gonna come next week? What? Oh!